fucking campaign video. I'm afraid. Oh, you mean uh, <laughs> next time we cast for the police, call a crackhead? <laughs> Oh, Ray, introduce the, introduce the topic because I got some shit to fucking say. Okay, um, if y'all know what the black the BLK app is or the black app is, it's yeah, it's that dating, dating app. Site. Yeah, it's a dating it's a dating app. But sometimes they put videos like backs that ass up with juvenile talking about getting the vaccine, and now hey, their latest, that was funny. latest video, which involves Trina and Saucy Santana. Talking about no voting, no fucking. It's V instead of an F. And what that video is about is if you're not going to vote, we're not going to give you sex. So obviously, Father wants to jump. Let's in go. This let's first. go, Father. Let's go, Father. The floor is yours, my brother. <laughs> go, let's go, let's Father. Go. Listen. And I know D Wolf, you right behind him too. But go ahead, Father. Listen. I am so tired of how they fucking um, represent the black community when it comes to voting or when it comes to any serious discussion when it when it uh, comes to our self-interest. Why the fuck? Like, this is the same energy they had when they was uh, doing the whole twerk for the vote thing. You had a whole bunch of strippers in there talking about, oh, you guys need to go and vote. And then I'm like, so then why aren't people who are actually influential in the community telling us to go vote? And if, and if that, oh, yeah. why is it? I remember that, get your booty on the poll bullshit. Yeah, get your booty <laughs> on the poll. And I'm saying that, and I'm like, so you really think that we're jokes? You're joking with us, right? You really think that we're going to fucking start voting because we see some ass and some strippers and shit like that? Like, that's so fucking disrespectful. And it just shows how little you value us as a people. And the, my particular, the particular reason why I hate shit like this because it's tokenism. You feel what I'm saying? It's shit that people can look at and they'll fucking laugh at us because we don't, because now it appears that we don't take our shit seriously. You know what I'm saying? It appears that whenever we have a problem, the only thing that we can really do is get our fu- is, is get our fucking, you know, degenerate ass celebrities to talk about the issues that apparently we're not so educated to talk about. Yet, whenever we're having these discussions, and trust me, it's a lot of discussions that we need to have. It's a lot of shit that it's a lot of L's that we have taken as a community just so the entire country doesn't fucking explode. You feel what I'm saying? We've always had to be the ones to take that L. So now that we ha- now that we're in this political environment where shit hasn't changed and people are still re- like they're still using tokenism to try to appeal to the black community is disrespectful as fuck. It is so disrespectful. And, you know, like it takes a certain type of consciousness. It takes a certain type of perspective in order to be to become the type of person who actually cares about the issues, who actually wants to implement solutions within the community so that the next generation can at least have something that they can, you know, have a foundation on. But all we want to do is just get motherfuckers to go vote in elections that don't even really benefit us, no matter what fucking candidate that we pick. You know what I'm saying? It's a rigged game across the board. Even if you have people that speak that black shit, even if you have people that, you know, are for the black community, they have to play ball with either the Democrats or the Republicans. And both of them have and both of them have been anti-black since the founding of this country. You feel what I'm saying? So whenever you see a black liberal or black Democrat talking, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Whenever you see a black conservative or black Republican talking, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? There's no solutions. It's always, oh, the black community this, the black community that. And I'm like, bro, when are we going to be serious in actually creating our own type of infrastructure? When are we going to teach our children the importance of not only gatekeeping your culture, but refining your culture to something that everybody has no choice but to respect? Because when it comes to black people, all we're going to be known for by the time all of this shit is said and done is niggas fucking twerking so people can go vote. It's people fucking uh, making music videos and doing a whole bunch of shucking and jiving so that we can actually have the conversations that we need to have. But for you to sit there and tell me that you're not going to fuck me because I'm not because I'm not participating in a system that oppresses me and the people that look like me on a daily motherfucking basis. 
fuck you, go choke on sand and shit it out your asshole. <laughs> I love it. God damn, go choke on sand. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh D-Wolf, you got anything to say about it? Yo, on top of what he said, I would have at least, you know, I would have at least had respect if if the message was don't play any parts in these games. Like, let's not vote at all. If that was the message, I would have been, I would have had some respect for it. But when you see shit like this and it's on one, like, it's, if they're making you do this and this is, and they're using us for this shit, you got to see it as a problem. Cause I'm, I, when I saw it, I was like, could you imagine? Like, I try to place myself like far in the future. And I'm looking up history, and I can imagine far in the future you're able to see the footage of all this shit, and you look back, and I, I feel like, what were what if I didn't if I didn't exist today, and I was a fresh mind in the future and saw this, I'm like, what were my people doing? You know, like this is oh god, yo, the cringe, I oh mm, mm-mm, that shit hurt my soul. <laughs> Because I'm like, whoever's sharing this on, you're, you're the problem. If nobody, whoever's blind to what just happened, what that was, you're the problem. Oh, God, man. That was... Uh, uh, I, I, I was like, this is real? Like, this is serious? This is serious? People are... We're supposed to take this seriously. And it made me think of when... um, when we were talking about the whole... uh burn the whole shit down, burn the whole culture down. Yeah. This is what I thought of immediately. Like that could, that discussion made me think of this. Once I saw this, I saw this and I was like, that discussion about burning the shit down, this is exactly what I think she went. Cause if I, if that's what I thought when she said that, and this is what I was talking about, not the lifestyle, but what, but what was, but using that lifestyle for this to represent us for a message for some higher ups or whomever, you know, as if all black people are like this, if all black people are of this ilk, who like, this is the majority of us. This is how we think. And that's why, and we want to be surprised when we're perceived a certain way in certain situations and the right people, the correct people are ignored. And they're the ones who, how are they, these people not ridiculed, but the ones who know better, the ones who should be pushed to the forefront they're the ones being ridiculed. It makes it, it's, it's this is backwards, yo, upside down, uh, clown world, straight up. Because I cannot believe, like, but I am glad. I like when I saw it, I saw the uh, I saw it on Twitter. There was enough black people saying, "What the fuck is this?" So that made me feel good, you know. Oh, oh my god! Uh, anybody else want to jump in? They can. Yeah, um, so from what I'm getting, (laughs) who are the people that is not going to fuck guys that want them so badly because they're not going to vote? Who are these people? Mm -hmm. Can we identify the women who think that they're women by withholding sex from men that's not really their men? Can we, can we start there? Mm Hmm? (laughs) I'm just saying, when you could, when you got into a relationship, you got it with your pussy or your mind, what kind of women are we talking about? Did I get it wrong here? You got to see it. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it because I will, I will, I will make sure that I follow the IP address. I'm not the type of person to want to see shit like that. Mm -hmm. I... I didn't want to see it either. I just came across it. I know what it's about. It's about Mm -hmm. demonizing the culture to make it so pitiful that we vote based off of sex. We vote based off of strippers and poll Mm -hmm. workers and all of that shit, right? We don't vote based off of the fact that someone actually can change this country for the better and give rights to not just Black people, but every diversity that's in this country that created the country to make it what it is today. No, we have to go to sex and manipulation. What next? You're going to put a McDonald's commercial 
with all the black people in it for us to vote next? Like what, what is happening? At the end of the day, the only people, and this is a harsh, this is a harsh thing. The only people we have to blame is the music industry and the people that's pushing this, this agenda and thinking it's cute and be like, well, you know, I want, <laughs> I want sex. So I got to vote. I want this because I got to vote. Yeah, so you're going to keep bending down and bowing down because you're going to play the game to get stuff when you can create that opportunity for your fucking self. I don't get it. I don't get it. The only reason they're able to get away with this shit is because we're allowing it. Can we stop bitching and complaining and create our own campaigns? Hmm? Can we start going into the communities and the societies that lock us out systematically and make sure this shit doesn't happen in media. Can we start there? No, we are, we're bowing down to people that have connections in this industry to make us look like fools so that we continue to vote anyway. Well, because of that commercial, guess what? I'm not going to fucking vote. I'm tired of seeing that kind of shit. I'm tired of politicians being okay with this. They don't even address this shit when it, when it happens. That's how I know. Like, if you know that a culture who has been dragged through the fucking mud through media, and we're not going to say who owns that, okay? Because we don't want, you know, someone's YouTube channel to be shut down because that's what they do. But at the end of the fucking day, can we just agree that if we have a politician saying they're going to do this for the community and do that. Why don't you address the fuckery? Why don't you start there? Why don't you address the people that even created that commercial and say, you know what? I wanted to run for president. I'm going to run for president, but can we address such and such and such? Make sure you show up for us and maybe, maybe we will show up for you. Talk is cheap because you have to follow through. And if we don't like what you're fucking doing, there's something that we can do about it. End the story. But until we start moving collectively and talking collectively and not even entertaining it, not making their, their uh, video so popular that we all see it, we ignore it, we turn our backs to it. When we do discuss it, it's on our own platform. That's fucking powerful, right? It's on our own platform. End of story. So we can discuss it without it being tainted. And taken for what it's not, what we're not trying to say. Mm-mm. That's mm-hmm. sickening. And Imagine- for the women, I'm not gonna have sex with it. You're not a woman. You're a little girl to think that a pussy can make or break a man. It can get them in trouble. That's as far as it goes, little girls. Get it the fuck together. Before Imagine going on a date. Imagine going on a date, and they ask you, "Yo." Prove to me that you voted before this goes any further. You see how retarded that sounds? Nigga, Even I will trying to imagine leave. that? Like, that's like... <laughs> I will fucking leave. Son. Well... That sounds well. ridiculous. Like, so if now we just saw... We saw this now. We saw this being... <coughs> yo, we saw that video. Can you imagine that real life? That's what... Ta- that's so stupid, yo. And they used us for this fuckery. <laughs> No, oh we're allowing God. them to do it. Oh. We're allowing them. Who's Look enabling at who's this? Being they need to go. by us. And the most trifling part about it is you don't see any other race with that shit. Mm-hmm. No race saying. does that shit. Like, no. at all. Thank you. I've never seen Hispanics. Yeah, I, I've never seen Hispanic strippers go up on a fucking camera and be like, get your booty to the pole. Never seen mm-hmm. it. Never seen Asians do it. Never seen uh, Arabs do it. Us, though. And, and it's all because of, yeah, you basically said it before, how the media portrays us. The media has never been our friend. And the media will take black people and tokenize the fuck out of them so that by the